Now, the International Organization of Migration, IOM, with search for common ground, SFCG and Messi Corps are collaborating on the pilot project, contributing to the mitigation of conflicts over natural resources between famine-headed communities in Adamawa State, Nigeria, or in short, committees. To contribute to the mitigation of conflicts over natural resources, on June 22nd, IOM, its partners, stakeholders and government officials converge in Abuja for the second high-level project steering committee meeting to provide project updates and share lessons learned and findings aimed at improving trust in authorities and enhancing collaboration between farmers and EDIS communities. Joining us on the news tonight is Emerson Derry, project manager, committee's projects. Glad to have you, Mr. Amos. Good evening, Mr. Amos. Amos, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Good evening. Now, um, looking at the Good situation evening. in the northern areas of uh, Nigeria, what do you think is the major cause of uh, farmer elder conflict, apart from, of course, um, expansion of human settlements and um, privatization of land? Uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, there are many factors. Okay. Uh, there is also the issue of uh, climate change and the environmental degradation that is going on there. Uh, and as we know, uh, the savanna uh, is becoming drier and drier and the desert is encroaching. Okay. Um, at the same time, the methods of farming and animal keeping are, need to be modernized. They're still trying, you know, doing the old ways of grazing in the open and also uh, doing shift cultivation. And these type of things are not sustainable in a modern setting where we have higher population. You need to really maximize on land use. And even land management is also another issue that is affecting uh, the communities where they are not able to manage the land properly and then they have uh, a lot of uh, tensions which escalate into conflict. All right, now, so we have the committers project. How does the IM? OM intend to address intercommunal perceptions, especially what the media brings out? Uh, so for, in terms of media, we try, we train uh, media professionals okay. on how to do conflict sensitive reporting. Uh, and they also are taught how to uh, promote messages that uh, are focused on peace building and uh, social cohesion. That's how we try and make sure that the media are, is responsible. And also, we also have a, a radio stations uh, where uh, there are programs aired that talk about the crisis and how to mitigate it and to prevent uh, violence from es escalating uh, at the community level. All right. So uh, finally, before I let you go, early warning and um, early response system have been some of the issues that have actually been causing more violence in the region. How does IOM intend to address these issues? Oh, thank you. So with early warning, early response, what we're doing is across the communities, we are trying to create a system where people share information. They, they meet regularly. Uh, in various committees at the world, LGA, and state level, okay. and they discuss issues that are related to peace. And uh, when they see something happening and they see that this is uh, going to become, uh, it has the potential to become uh, a threat, they're able to resolve it before it becomes worse. Therefore, uh, you find a lot of the issues are resolved early, and therefore you, you, you don't find the... Uh, you know, escalation to violent clashes and things like that happening. All right. So thank you very much for your contributions on the news tonight. Emos Nderi is uh, the project thank manager, you. committee's project. Thank you very much. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.